Okay, so let's have a look at problem 7.72 of week 7, in which we have an oxygen com gas compressed in a piston cylinder device, and we're going from 0.8 meters cubed per kilogram and 25 Celsius to 0.1 and 287 Celsius. We are to determine the entropy change of the oxygen during this process, assuming a constant specific heat. So if it's that magic word appears there in the problem, if it says you can assume a conspecific heat, that makes our life easier, right? Because we know heat changes with temperature. But if it says we can use a single one, that makes our life so much more uh, easy, so, so much easier, okay? So going from we have uh, oxygen inside the piston so in the device, then this piston is going to compress this guy, and then we're going to have a reduction of the volume, a great reduction of the volume. Okay, there's no, really no, not much of um, uh, hard things to do in this problem. All we need to do is actually apply the, the correct equation for the difference in entropy. And then if we have a solid, which is not our case, okay, if we have a solid, um, a difference in entropy can be approximated to the CV times the natural log of the final temperature over the initial temperature. Okay, so this is going to be our CV average, and this is only valid for solids, right? obviously not our case. Okay. Now if we have um, ideal gases, okay, for ideal gases, there's two different equations we can use. Okay, so it's going to depend whether we have um, the volume or the pressure, and they're related by the ideal gas uh, relationship, right? So PV equals NRT. And then one of them is you can approximate this to your CV average, natural log of same thing, T2 over T1. But because we also have the other properties of the gas that going to influence on the entropy, we also have to account for those in the end of being V2 over V1. So this is the uh, final format of the, of the equation, already in the approximation form. Okay, And this is valid for ideal gas. So let me make sure I write down this is uh, for solids. Here's solids. This is ideal for an ideal gas. Okay, and then if you wanna, if we use our relationships between uh, temperature and volume and pressure because it's an ideal gas, we can convert this equation here into CP instead of CV, and then so CP average natural log again T two over T one, and then that's going to be negative R and natural log of P two over one okay okay the, the these are all going to be given in um, the units of entropy which are kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin all right it could be kilo, kilojoules per Kelvin but in this case kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin uh, mind you that for that to happen the unit on R and the unit on CP have to be the same right because you're summing up these are the only two things that have units because whatever the unit is for pressure, it's going to go away with the other pressure here. And whatever the unit is for temperature is going to go away with the other temperature here. Okay. And last but not least, whenever we're doing these things with gases on the PV, uh, PV equals NRT, don't forget the, the unit of the temperature has to be in Kelvin, right? It has to be in absolute temperature. All right. So we're being asked what is the delta S, okay, and we have these three options. We're obviously going to eliminate this one because it's not a solid, okay, and then we can use either one of these guys here. Because we do have a relationship with the volume, that's what we were given in the beginning, we're going to opt for this one, which relates to volume, and to be able to solve that, we're going to grab, um, let's see, we need R, which we can grab from the table, that's easy. We have the two volumes relationships, and don't forget that if there's no mass leaving, the relationship between the volumes and uh, the specific volumes is going to be the same, right? So the ratio between them is going to be the same because the only difference is the, that we're getting the volume divided by the mass. And because it's the same mass on both cases, it's going to be the same thing. We can show that mathematically later if you want. So we can grab this R off the table. We have the two volumes. We have the two pre uh, temperatures. I uh, just need to convert them to Kelvin. The only thing we don't have is CV, but that's also something we can grab, okay? So we're going to grab CV, and we know CV changes. It's going to change from 25 to 287. So what we're going to do is grab the CV on the mean temperature, or bulk temperature as we call it, right? Bulk temp. 
Okay, and then bulk temp is going to be the 25 plus the 287 over 2. And it's going to be 156 Celsius. All right. So 156 Celsius. Celsius, which is the same thing as if we sum up uh, 273, it's going to be 429 Kelvin. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to go to our table A2 as per usual, all the way to the page, which page is this? 900. And we're going to do a little interpolation because obviously there's no value for 429, right? So temperature is over here and my CV is over here. Okay. And I'm looking for CV because I'm using the second equation there. Okay, so my, uh, I do have a value for 400, and I do have a val value for 450, and I'm after the value for 429. These are all in Kelvin, right? And then on this side here, I'm going to have 0 0.681. So I'm going to have 0 0.696. And then I'm going to interpolate here, and what I got at 0. Um, Six eight nine seven eight nine seven. Okay, and then just to be sure, because this is quite important, this is all in kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Okay, that's the unit for all the CVs there. Okay, now we do have everything we need. Um, if you want to grab beforehand, you can as well grab the R. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the R, and note that. As I said, these two have to be the same unit, right? So I do need the R that has the relationship with the molecular weight. Okay, so I'm going to grab specifically the R for O2 and not the general one. Okay, other option is grab the general one and then use the molecular weight of the uh, oxygen molecule and then divide it to get the specific one. Okay, so from table A2, uh, same table but page 8. I grab R for oxygen, which is 0 0.2598, okay, and mind you, the units, kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, okay, so exactly the same units, and that's what we need to be able to sum them up, right, if they're not the same unit, we cannot sum them up, so as long as they're the same unit, we're good to go, so this is going to be one thing that we're going to be using, grab the page there too, and here's the other value we're going to be using, okay, and then we're good to go. Okay, we're good to find delta S. So, delta S to blue. My delta S will be approximately my CV, 0 0.6897. Then times natural log of T2 over T1. I just need to make sure that I'm summing up to convert this into Kelvin. So, that's going to be 560 divided by... 298. Um, one second. All right, plus uh, R, which is that guy there. 2598. Natural log. Uh, just gonna do the bottom here. And then uh, our final one, 0 0.1, and our initial one, 0 0.8. 1, 0 0.8. Okay. So as long as these guys are in the same unit, they go away. These guys in unit they go away. Um, sum this up. My delta S is approximately negative 0 0.05 kilojoules kilograms Kelvin. All right. So as easy as that, we grab our value. The only thing, extra thing we can talk about on this one is this. So what we have there is V1, V2 over V1, right? And then if we sub that in, if we sub, remember that our specific volume, so it's going to be V over M, right? So V same thing as specific volume times the mass. So I can sub that in, and I'm going to have mass specific volume 2, mass specific volume 1. And since there was no change in mass, nothing left that uh, piston cylinder device there, these masses are the same. So the division between them, the, the ratio between them is going to be exactly the same. So that's why you don't have to convert um, it back from the specific volume back to volume. But this equation here is using normal volume, right? Not specific volume. Okay, that's it for this question.